Welcome back. From ping pong balls to balloons, we have some fun projects you can do with your kids this summer. Our own Maloon Nubla catches up with the one and only Mr. Science. It's time to get hooked on science, and we have some summer projects that all the kids will love with Mr. Science. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you, Malou? I've missed you seeing you doing cool science with you. Yeah, in person. But hey, we can still do it this way and learn. <laughs> You're exactly right. We can. Uh, and we've proved just that over the past year or so. I have multiple ingredients in front of me that you'll find around the house, especially if you have a baby. This is called a diaper genie bag. You put dirty diapers in it. <laughs> <laughs> no dirty diapers in this one. But here's my question to you. You know, I'm a scientist. I'm a meteorologist by training, so no jokes here. But how many breaths of air will it take me to blow this up? And I say no jokes because meteorologists are not full of hot air. <laughs> how many breaths is in it? <laughs> uh, a thousand. A thousand? This is about mm, six rulers, about as tall as me. I think I can do it in one breath. Really? You How's ready for this? Okay. okay, so you can't put your mouth on the bag. You got to put a ruler between your mouth and the bag. And as your breath goes in, it pulls more air in with it. Okay, let's try it. <gasps> and look at that. One breath? One breath, that was it. Just one breath of air. Wow. Oh my gosh, That's, you don't need any of those air compressors anymore. So how, does, how nope. does that work? Why was it only one breath? It's called Bredouille's principle. The faster the flow of air, the lower the pressure. So as I put that ruler between my mouth and the bag, my breath went in, low pressure system formed inside, high on the outside, air blows from a high to a low. Let's keep it simple. The ruler between my mouth and the bag, as my breath goes in, it pulls more air in with it. Okay, not magic, it's science. <laughs> exactly. We have time for one more? Yes, we do. Now, how long does it take you to fix that beautiful hair of yours? Like hours? A long time, a long time, a long time. <laughs> Half an hour, okay, 45 fine. minutes. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow, that's long. <laughs> this dude right here, 10 minutes. <laughs> Maybe five. <laughs> Looks good. <laughs> so I have a hair dryer here. You know what you use with a hair dryer. But I also went to the hardware store and bought a few other pieces. You'll see a PVC pipe, a clear tube. I'm going to turn my hair dryer into a ping pong ball launcher. Yeah, we're going to launch ping pong balls all over the Hooked on Science Lab. It's all about pushes and pulls. A push or a pull is a force. A push or a pull is a force. When I turn this on, a flow of air will come out. The ping pong balls will fall into the flow of air. And good thing you were there and I am here or I will be launching ping pong balls at you. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Here we go. Ready. Ready. launcher. Yeah, exactly. So it's powered by air. We were able to launch those ping pong balls everywhere. The first law of motion says, you know, an object at rest stays at rest. So the ping pong balls stay there until they get put in motion. And once they get put in motion, they keep flying until an outside object hits them. In this case, it hit the camera. If we were together, it'd be hitting in the head, right? <laughs> Which is always, what's, what's the uh, advice you have for kids about their science projects? Don't eat or drink the science experiment. Have an adult around and wear the appropriate safety gear. And remember, science is awesome. High five. High five. Yay to summer science. Thank you, Mr. Science. Take care. You too.